Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, I'll be with, right with you. Let me just make sure everything's ready to go. I should probably start doing that before I start the stream. I think we're much ready to go. Right? Uh, I hope you're all well. Hello, Mysterious. Thank you so much for being here. Glad you could make it. Um, where's the chat button? Hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've moved a couple of things around on my desk, so the 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 tablet that I have like the the stream deck on is now on a different side so I don't have to reach over to get it I can can do it from here so um getting a little bit lost <laughs> um when I'm having to do things so hello welcome thank you so much for coming along thank you so much for tuning in uh to to the stream I have some fantastic music to play for you today um if you were here on Monday uh, you'll kind of have an idea of what it sounds like uh but um it's it, it has evolved since the last stream. I managed to get some tweaking in yesterday and today, uh, and it's sounding really, really good. We've got two finished pieces of music um, out of the four that I wanted to make, which is fantastic. Um, so tonight is kind of the last bit of time I have uh, this month, or this week, to get to get the OST Comp Jam music done, because the deadline is Sunday, I think, or maybe Monday. Um and I'm away over the weekend and uh, Friday I'm going to be away. So this is kind of the last day and I'm working tomorrow. So um, there's lots to get through, lots to get done. A um, couple of exciting things that happened since since Monday. We've booked in the recording sessions for the Tower Part 3. They're happening very, very soon. Uh, we had um, an R&D, our second R&D session yesterday. Um, and you'll be pleased to hear that that you're, you're not ready. <laughs> It's sounding very, very good. I'm very much looking forward to making it, um, and uh, and all the cool stuff that will that will come from that, because um, that's going to be August. August for me is going to be making the tower, and and getting it all ready to go, and then September probably as well to be doing the same thing. Um, so keep your eyes out for those for those announcements, because because they'll they'll they're they're on their way. They're in the pipeline. But anyway, so what are we doing? So uh, we're working on. OST composing the 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 fourth OST composing jam, uh, where it's basically it's a game jam for for composers where you have to make some you have to make a soundtrack to an imaginary video game uh, after being given some prompts. Uh, it's very very fun. I really really enjoy it. Uh, I don't currently work in video game music as much as I'd like to, so uh, this this is kind of an opportunity for me to for me to play around with that. Um, so yeah, like so. So this is what we've got so far. Uh, I'll I'll bring up the prompt again just in case anyone needs a reminder. So uh, oh no, that's on the wrong screen. Eh, there we go. Woo! No 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 no. That, that, that's a bit too enthusiastic. Thank you very much. Um. 
So this is this is the, these are our prompts. So we've we, this is our word prompt is runaway, and uh, the picture theme is this fantastic uh, piece of artwork here. We're using both, um, and we're gonna we're calling our game runaway, our imaginary game runaway, uh, and uh, there's a little bit about it here, but but basically it's a it's a, it's an RPG. Um, heavily influenced by science fiction, like The Fifth Season, uh, as well as games like Hyperlight Drifter, Loop Hero, Hollow Knight, that kind of thing. Um, we've done two things. We've got we've got the main theme, and we've got a second piece of music, which I've now called Hunted. Uh, it'll become very clear why when I play you the piece. Um, tonight we're going to be working on what I'm calling the peaceful theme, and then also the destruction theme, which is kind of the evil sort of uh, dark path genocide run music. Um, so that's where we're at. So these two pieces of music here. This is the main theme over here, uh, and then we have the the, um, the 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 hunted theme over here. And I'll play both of them for you before we do anything else. Twenty twenty two more like twenty tower. <laughs> Sorry, I misread that the wrong. Twenty twenty two more like twenty twenty tower. Yeah, uh, this is part part three, and it's it's. I when when we made part two, we were like, we're not going to wait two years before we make another one. And we're going to do a whole series in a year. And I thought I could do that. And I will do that. But it's not, it's not an idea. No, I'm not used to having deadlines with the tower. Normally I'm like, it'll come out when it's ready. But no, this time around I'm actually having a deadline, which has been interesting. And I'm also accountable to other people, which has also been an interesting experience. It's made the show better. I've been very, I've been, I've been, um, the R&D sessions have been fantastic for the story, getting, getting more input from the cast. And uh, also we have an executive producer this time around. And they're very good at their job, and they're doing a very good job of keeping me on track and making sure I know the answers to questions, uh, the questions that I'm asking. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get. I'm going to put my headphones on, and then I'll play you some music. So uh, this got very big very quickly. This is this has become one of the bigger kind of music projects I've worked on. It's very rare for me to have this many tracks. Um, so we're currently sitting at 43. I reckon probably by the end we'll have 50, which again, very rare for me. I very rarely have that many. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think it sounds pretty good, to be honest. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll play the music. I'll play, the, play both pieces of music and then uh, I'll kind of explain what's changed since the last stream. Um, most of the changes will kind of be for the second piece of music, but there's a lot of change. I did a lot of mixing with the first piece to kind of get it sounding the way I wanted it to. All the problems that were there on Monday have now been fixed. You'll be pleased to hear, and hopefully you'll hear why. So here we go.
So that's the first bit. That's the first piece of music. Um, most of the changes have been it's just mixed now, <laughs> which has which has helped a lot. Um, in terms of stuff that I added, I added lots of extra string parts. So I added like some high strings um, and then just mixed the guitar part, mixed the synth parts. Uh, changed the drums so they were a bit more boomy. They use toms now instead of hi-hats, so it sounds a lot bigger. Um, this kind of the the switch between the the kind of transition from the first bit to the second bit is now much smoother. I basically just made it longer, <laughs> uh, so you had more time to kind of for your ears to kind of adjust to it. Um, probably the 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 thing I'm the most proud of with the with the changes is uh, so I made a I made a pad like a guitar pad. Um, uh, power ballad hours is absolutely right, mysterious. That's it's it's yeah, absolutely power ballad. Um, so I'll play I'll play that track in isolation because it sounds very very weird and interesting. So in terms of what that's doing, there's just loads of different delays, reverbs, effects on it. Um, and then I've added a delay on top of that, so it's even bigger. Because if I if I turn if I turn that off, it's just it sounds quite it sounds quite dull on its own. I'm I'm literally just playing chords. Um, that's all they are, but just bathing it in, the, in these effects, it's just you get a, such a lovely big sound. Which if you add just over everything else. It just adds, adds, that word I love to use, it adds texture. Um, so yeah, um, is there anything else I did that was really that different? No, not particularly, I think it was more, it's mostly just that and this, this bit here, sort of introduction between the two halves of the, the A section and the, and the B section, kind of, kind of hold that together. Um, so let's move on to the second piece of music. I made quite a bit of this yesterday, um, but uh, I did a lot of work on it on on uh, Tuesday because I had had a bit of time in between doing stuff, um, and that's also sounding very very good now. Uh, it's a very different vibe, but it's you know thematically related. A bassy synth. I have no idea how I did that. It's such a big synth.
that's piece number two. It's 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 sounding very big. I'm glad I'm glad you love it. <laughs> I really love it too. It's it's kind of, um, it's nice to be doing something that it this this is gonna. I kind of mentioned this on the last stream, but it's nice to be doing something that doesn't typically sound like me, which sounds sounds like an odd, slightly self indulgent thing to say. Um, but yeah, I'm trying. To, so the, the probably the the bit I'm the most proud of in this in this piece is the, is the last bit. It's this bit here. Um, first first thing to talk about is the the synth part. I, I don't know if I, I don't think I recorded this on stream, but it's just a double of the of the the cello part. But what I was using, I was using the the little articulation um, stick, <laughs> the little articulation stick. Um, to do bends and things with the synth, which again, something I don't normally do, just to add that extra layer of um, uh, expression. There's one coming up. That little bend there, little microtone. Just a couple of those, because then if, if when you put that with the, the melody parts, just feels bigger and feels more like an ensemble. It's got that nice little... There's another one. So that's our little melody parts. There's also the... the very kind of quite quiet in the mix piano um, parts. So there's the tape piano, there's two pianos playing the same part. Um, and they sound like this. Ooh, ooh, sounds so good. It sounds very good, very, very simple effect. Like all I'm doing is I'm literally just playing um, the root note in the fifth. You know, octave apart. Just genuinely, just doing that with the piano, um, and then recording the bass notes separately. So you get this really big piano sound. Lots of intertwining piano parts, which is something that I really like doing. I like making piano parts that are impossible to play. <laughs> Which is to say, I think these are all parts that I'll probably end up, you know, pasting into other pieces of music. Um, so yeah, I'm incredibly happy with how it's sounding so far. So tonight, what we are working on is we've got the this peaceful theme, which is going to be sort of very quiet. It's going to be very much piano based. Um, and then we have what I'm sort of calling the destruction theme. But I kind of want to call... So this second piece is called Hunted, and I kind of want the last one to be called Hunter. So it's going to it's gonna kind of take a lot of cues from the second piece of music, um, like the piano part and the synth parts and stuff, but kind of have it turned around the other way, kind of inverting them and recontextualizing. That's the word I was looking for, recontextualizing them in the context of the story um, and doing it that way. So And then that will be our entry. That will be the entry into OST Comp Jam 4. Uh, and I hope it does well. I hope people like it. You know, that, that, like every time I've entered OST Comp Jam, I've kind of gone in being like, I like this. I think this is good. I'm proud of this. Um, and I've been very, very lucky in that everything that I, I have entered has done very well in OST Comp Jam. But there's always that worry, you know, you never want to feel complacent, you know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so let's get this peaceful theme on the go, shall we? Uh, wh whoops. So we're at 100 BPM. I'm gonna you just use the piano for the time being, which already sounds lovely. This is our lo-fi tape piano. Oh, it's lovely, lovely sounding piano. Um. Um, let me 
Here we go, something. Good start, I think. Strong start. I think we can probably keep that at 100 BPM and just kind of... Uh, uh, peaceful... Oh, I've, I've forgotten how to type. Peaceful theme. There we go. Okay. Let's roll, see what happens. Okay, I was wrong. We should <laughs> we should not have we should put in a tempo marker there. Uh, slow that right down. Let's put eighty in and see what that feels like. Yeah, no, that's nice. I like that as a tempo. Okay. Ah. Uh. That was wrong. I'll try that again. Okay, that's a good start. this now that's what happens if I run that through the Mono Sega. That's not the Sega Dev. Okay, that's let's put that down here. I like it. It needs to be quieter though. So I'm kind of using the main theme as the starting point for this one. Um, this one can be a bit more minimal just due to the nature of it. I, I, we can build it up and I think I probably will end up building it up. Um, but I think we can take a lot of what's already there and make a piece out of it um, using lots of themes that are already there and, and a lot of the motifs and sounds that we've already have, taking those and putting them into into a different piece. Um, what happens if I make this 73 BPM? So it's the same tempo as the main theme. What does that sound like? I 
quite like it. Okay, bit of a bit of a tone shift there. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Again, that also needs to be a lot quieter because that's real loud because everything's loud because I've had to boost it everything okay um, yeah okay let's glue these together and then let's bump that up by an octave see what that sounds like Dev pulling a tower season one Ike move. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> if 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 there is one thing that I think is consistent throughout uh, throughout my content is is some very gnarly electronic noises that are. Um, I found I found a plugin. I, again, I always find really good lo-fi plugins after I finish making a lo-fi plugin, a, a lo-fi a lo-fi project. One was like a really good tape simulator, like a tape machine simulator, and another one was called digit called um, Digitalis, and basically it's like different sampled audio interference. I'm like, oh, that sounds amazing, and it's it, the the sounds are awful, awful noises. Um, but I'm, I'm listening to them just going, oh, yes. Oh, look at, look at this chunky boy. Um, when making these awful electronic noises, such, such is the life that I've chosen for myself. I can maybe, let's put the white noise generator on. Very quiet underneath. Maybe just to add a little bit more colour, texture, all the good words. <laughs> Cursed noises brackets affectionate. <laughs> That's my MO, I think. <laughs> I think I might make that my Twitter name. Uh, okay. Um... I can only apologize for how loud the other two pieces of music are compared to this one. Okay. Uh, if I... Yes, we let the guitar pad breathe a little bit more. Let's double up these, this piano. So that's our intimate grand piano that's not running through a lo-fi tape. So it's a bit cleaner and it just backs up the piano just a little bit.
<laughs> oh no! Oh no, I made a terrible mistake! Oh, it sounds good, but it's terrible at the same time! Oh, right, okay, 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 Let me, let's just calm down. So... <laughs> So the track I put it on there, <clears throat> so there's there's a track here called Trance Guitar, because on the second track, the guitar part does this. So that's filtering through a trance filter that's sort of going on and off very, very quickly. Um, and, it, and it's in time with the with the, the click track, with the, the, the rest of the track. So it, it does that. Um, and what I did there was I accidentally put the lead part on there and it's, it sounds good, totally off for what we're trying to do, but it sounds good. If I was ever remixing it, that's probably what it would sound like, but I'm not doing that. So, okay, let's put it on the right track. That's also on the wrong track. I'm, oh. God, I promise I am, you know, a professional sometimes. Right, there we go. That's what it was. This is why you color code your tracks. Okay. And then remember what you've color coded them as. Okay, then we can maybe... <laughs> Not doing that yet. <laughs> More chill beats to do th to do things to. Okay. Watch this. If I, I say watch this, if I get it on the right track, this will sound good. I think I prefer that. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean that that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's that's the it's in the wrong place. Okay, let's try something. Um. Let's move some stuff around and see if it works. Hey, I don't hate it. That that works. I can't believe that works. That's fantastic. Okay. You know, I think I won't put the white noise on it. I quite like the quiet. 
I'm into it. <laughs> Me too! There is, there is another thing I actually do want to add very quickly. This is track number 44, if anyone's keeping count. Um, yeah, I know that's not there. Okay, I'm going to test it in here and see see where we end up. cello instead. Oops. That's more like it. So if anyone's wondering, so that, those are, that's Spitfire Audio's frozen strings. Uh, they put a string quartet in an industrial fridge, an industrial freezer, and then got them to play music. Personally, I think that's quite cruel, but it, it, it sounded good. Um, it's got these very interesting textures. Quite quiet in the mix, but, but still, still very, very good. Um. How many tracks until you have to start a second project file? Honestly, I'm quite like I've made stuff that has run up to to uh, 50, 50 tracks before, but like normally I've got help. <laughs> we'll see. Let's find out what the limit is. Why not? More tracks. Um, hello, Erasmus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just explaining how the frozen strings. Uh, plugin I have was was made uh what did the string quartet do they played some lovely lovely music is what they did and then it got turned into this fantastic plugin that's absolutely free as well it's it's a free plugin you get some lovely lovely articulations so yeah um let's just get that color set properly so that just adds a lovely, lovely texture to it. It's quite quiet, but it's it's definitely there. It's not quite as full on as something like the Mellotron or even the actual string section that we have. But what crime did the string quartet do that warranted a sentence in an industrial freezer? I am presuming that they got paid for their time. <laughs> I, I think they were only in there for like a couple of hours. I, I don't know, but like, um, apparently it's like it's like a technique that that is used that is used when when recording music is that cold strings have an effect. It has an effect on the strings and how the bow interacts with the string and things. So. I don't necessarily condone it as a practice, <laughs> but um, presumably they were all allowed to wear coats and stuff. I don't think they had to be cold. I think it was the instruments that had to be cold. Um, I don't know. I'm speculating. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, nothing that I am saying. This it's all speculation. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to. 
I don't want to imply that Spitfire Audio have done anything untoward. Like they 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 haven't. Everyone seems very happy. <laughs> but they put a string quartet in, in an industrial fridge, an industrial freezer, and got them to play music. Um, which is an odd thing to say. I just want to know what that email was like, you know. Cameron. Hello, Cameron. Greetings. I seem to have stumbled into a workers' rights fiasco. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Cameron. It's good to, it's good to hear from you. I'm, I'm glad, that, glad that you've made it along. Um, is this too quiet now? Is this, can I not hear that now? Make that a bit louder. I'm gonna to have to mix this one differently just because it's it's gonna be so much quieter compared to the other two that are incredibly loud. Mm. I've actually been here the whole time. I was just busy doing manual labor. Not in an industrial freezer, I hope. <laughs> I'm glad that your your manual labor has concluded. I'm so surprised that that melody works. That basically I copied the, I pasted the wrong part in and it's come out like that. Uh, I want to carry those on. I think that's probably what I'll do. I'll um, probably have a repetition of the piano part without a melody, and then we'll bring it back in, but we'll bring it in with more parts. So it'll be a much shorter piece compared to the to the rest of the tracks, to the other two tracks. But it doesn't have to. Do, I don't think it needs to do anything else other than that. You know, it's it's background music. Um, because these two very much not background music, <laughs> very much big not background music, foreground music. Not middle ground music, foreground music. Ground pound music. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm very tired. Um, okay. Can maybe bring in a couple of other parts as well while we're here. I do love this guitar pad. Definitely gonna use that for for I should say as well, like um, um I'm gonna have to sort of uh <laughs> right in your personal bubble music. You're like slightly uncomfortably close ground music. Um, <laughs> you know, leaning on the armrest between you on the on the bus sort of sort of sort of music. Um the the, the there is as much as this very much came out of it does come out of the project, the the instrument choices and the genre choices I'm making are deliberate in a sense that there is a project that I'm working on or a project that is in development that has this kind of palette. So I'm very glad that this is working because it means a future project will also work. Um, that's very cryptic, um, but uh, you'll be hearing about it very, very soon. Um, after the tower's out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's try something. Let's let's try. Keep the trance synth on. Turn the guitar pad off. Um. Hold 
tra trans synth bisexual <laughs> Right, I might use that on a different track because I'm not sure that... I think that's going to be too bouncy here. So I'm not going to do that this time, but I think that might be fun for the next thing we're going to be doing. Uh, the next piece of music that we're going to be working on. <laughs> well, I know what the... I know what the... Uh, the next uh, emote's going to be when we unlock another one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think we'll maybe add a bass version, a bassier version of this in. Because I think we can do that. So we're just going to copy the Moog part, bump it down by an octave, and then it'll just bring in a bit more lower end. Hopefully not too loud. That's good. Then we need something else just to fill out the space. No, that's a bit much. Uh, what does the Mellotron sound like? Yeah, again, again, way too dramatic. Way too dramatic. Is there anything? I don't, mm, would drums work, do you think? Some very muted drums. Might actually be enough. We might actually not need to add anything more. Maybe I'm just being, uh, maybe I'm just being, um, I'm overthinking. I had to think way too hard to think of the word overthinking. Okay. I think this will probably be the quickest I've ever made a piece of music, but, um, Quick is good, we have limited time. So here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring this back. That's good. So now I'm gonna take the, the Korg part, not put it on the trans guitar part again. Um because that was that was the wrong thing to do. Now we have to do some chopping up and moving things around. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, I don't I don't actually hate the the, the harmony there, but uh, Nope. Wrong! Incorrect! Okay, had a thought, had a thought, something that might work. I forgot about the chip synth up here, the chip tune synth up here. Not quite. Okay. I'm sorry to say this, everyone, but we need a new track. <laughs> okay, where is where's the track? Okay, uh, this is track number forty-five. We're getting there, cl getting closer to fifty. Um, so I'm gonna have to make something here. So it's gonna take—it's probably gonna take a while to make. So please bear with me while I while I get this sorted. Actually, no. I might not have to. Is this gonna, does, does, do I still have massive? Yes, I do. Has it saved my presets? It has not. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so this is uh, a contact instrument called Massive, as you may have worked out. It's a very, very powerful synthesizer engine. 
That sounds not very good when you first boot it up. Um, it gives you a lot of control over what things sound like. Uh, it's a very, very good piece of kit. I know um, for the the soundtrack for the game Fez, this is primarily what was used, and also for Hyperlight Drifter, this was the primary instrument that was used to make those make those um, make those soundtracks. So we're going to play around. We're going to use it to make a pad, but it's going to be like a sort of chip tune pad. So. First of all, I'm just going to turn it down because that's well loud. Okay, so... Uh, so we're going to get a square wave and a pulse wave. Okay, that's sounding good. Uh, and we're going to add a little bit of noise on there. little bit of that as well uh, effects want to add a big reverb there we go Let's put a little tremolo on there. Okay, let's put that under a track and then we will see what that sounds like. Oh, there it is. There it is. sort of ambient organ sound which which I really like so we'll call that chip pad I'll make that a red one I uh so in between in between Monday's stream and this stream uh I really I found that the all of the soundtracks to Professor Layton the press Professor Layton games are on Spotify and I'm sort of listening and I'm like ah oh, I could have done a Professor Layton soundtrack um, so one day, one day, I want to do one of those. It's so good. The music for Professor Layton is amazing. I feel like I need to play more Professor Layton to kind of get to grips with it, though. 
Okay. Get this. Sorry, my keyboards has decided my typing keyboard has decided that the Bluetooth wants to switch itself off. Sorry, technical difficulties everybody. There we go. And then we're gonna add some width to that with the UM226. looking for you are surrounded just so what it does is it creates a space in the middle and pushes the track to the outside the sound to the outside in the stereo field oh we could take the guitar part as well could do something with the guitar part. Do what we've done with the synth part to the guitar part. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. The theme for Unwound Future makes me emotional every time. I haven't got to Unwound Future yet. I'm still still making my way through uh, Pandora's box. So I'm, I'm starting from the beginning. And there's a really cool cello sound uh, for the, the sound font that they use for hidden f uh, for uh, Pandora's box or the mysterious box. I can't, it's got different reasons of different names for it, but um, yeah, it's got a really lovely, like punchy cello sound that yes, I have downloaded. Uh, thank you for asking. Um, okay. Let's. Sorry, 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 everybody. Let's. Uh, okay. Sorry, that was real loud. Let's put this in the right place. Oh, it actually sounds pretty good. Oh, this might actually work. This might actually work and it'll sound really cheesy, but I'm gonna really like it. Get everything linked up properly. I think I might have to re record it. Just because the articulation's slightly different. Yeah, we'll re-record it, why not? Okay. Get ready for guitar, everybody. Okay. Okay, where is the guitar? There it is. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, puppy. Okay. Right, okay. I just need to remember the guitar part I came up with the other day. So. Ah. 
That doesn't sound good. Why are you doing that? Let's put this up. I was really noisy, but I think we'll we'll be fine. Oh, hang on, what have I done? Okay, it seems to be pulling noise from somewhere. But where? Sorry, I think I've made a mistake with the mixing desk. Give me two seconds. That's off, that's off, that's off, that's off. Everything else is off, so why is that still coming out like that? Okay, let's add a noise gate. Just to get that ready, get that out. Do we need a new guitar tone? I think we might actually need a new guitar tone. Uh, okay, that needs to go here. Yeah, I think we might need a different guitar tone. But of course. Okay, let's add that in. Track 46! 46 tracks, everybody! Tool rack. Uh, what do I want? Uh, let's get that. Hummed. Mm, it still needs. I think it still needs to sound quite big. That's the. Let's find a good one to start with. Ooh, that's closer. Hmm, maybe not. Sorry, this is going to be just fiddling around with settings until, until we find the right one. I'm going to try it with this one. So it might just be a case of me playing it wrong, you know? Let's, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Okay, I need to turn that input up because that's real quiet. I'm 
gonna f I'm gonna use I'm not gonna pick this I'm gonna pluck it rather than use use my nail as a plectrum which is not a very healthy thing to do Played the wrong part, didn't I? Played the original one. I don't know what I'm supposed to. Okay. The delay between the guitar and the guitar sound is putting me off, so I'm going to record it dry, which will sound terrible, but it'll sound good in a second. Frustrating. Okay. Let's try doing it again, but with the right part. Ugh. See what that sounds like with the actual effects on. Other than real loud. I'll fix that. again proving annoying oh sorry about this everyone okay did it paste twice what Oh god, it's pasted like 400... Oh no, why? Alright, okay. Two seconds, everybody, sorry. Tech difficulties. Uh, where's the cable? Um, okay. Right, give me two seconds. I'm going to stick some music on. Um, and then I will just get this fixed. It will not take me long, I promise. Okay, is that playing? Okay, 
Be right back. back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, I'll just fade that out. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically my, uh, basically my keyboard wireless decided it didn't want to work anymore. So just to need to just do a couple of quick fixes. Um, okay. That should be us fine now. Um, Okay, hi Alpha Gaming six six one. Good to see you, as always. Uh, just working away. Just make sure it's paused. Okay, I don't one hundred percent think the guitar part is good, but uh, or uh, fits. But we'll we'll go with it for now. Get this guitar part fixed. I actually think I might keep that. That she doesn't sound too bad. Mm, no, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. It it sounds good, but thematically, it sounds a bit weird that it's playing something different at that just for that bit, you know. Okay. Erasmus asks, do you ever save bits like that to use for other tracks when it doesn't work for the current song? Yeah, like, um, for something like this, I'm kind of at the stage where I'm starting to think, right, how can we take the themes that are already there and turn them into, um, turn them into other pieces of music? What can we draw from these? Um, I'm very bad at deleting stuff from project files and then regretting it, um, when they can be used later, but... Uh, for stuff like this, it's mostly 
putting stuff in the wrong order and then realizing that it, it still works. Um, the, the problem is, is that my project files get very messy when I don't keep it clean. Like if I if I keep if I save everything, like what I'd be doing if if I had you know if I was in like a proper studio and I was working with a band, I'd be saving every single track, even the takes that we decided not to use, um, because you never know. But because I have a limited CPU space and I have a um, and I'm not in a studio, I'm just by myself. Um, I tend to not do that. I tend to, if, if a take is if I'm fluff a take, I just delete it, um, which is probably bad archiving on my part. But uh, at the same time, um, I I need the space. Oh gosh, I get that with the file cleanup. I'm glad that you think it's sounding lovely. That's that, that's good. It's sounding very very good. It's a nice contrast with the other the other two pieces. Um, let's get back to listening to that. Um, but like the melody for this one was a complete accident. Um, I just co like I copied the wrong file over, or <laughs> the wrong bit of the melody over, and it worked really well. So. My Photoshop layers are a mess. <laughs> a little bit of drama but not too much I think the guitar part might be too much, you know? What have I done there? Oh, I know what I've done. Oh, I've done it again, done it again! Okay. What happens if I bump that, that up? Whoops! What happens if I bump that up by an octave? <laughs> nah, 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 I think it needs to be... Needs to be the original and best. There we go. We can probably just bring it back down to the piano and then call it a track. Yeah. 
Uh, I need to copy that down here. Yeah, you know what? Let's 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 indulge ourselves. Let's let's take all of it. Let's take the whole sequence. No, I needed all of it. Oh, there we go. Nice, so it's still... Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I don't think we need to... I was going to maybe put some white noise under there, but I don't think we, I honestly don't think we need to. Whoops. Turn the ripple editing off. Okay, so before we do anything else, I think, I'm going to first of all just cement that as the track. Uh, what are we going to call it? We'll call that peaceful theme for now until we, oops, uh, call that peaceful theme for now, and it's uh, 73 BPM. Okay. Let's just listen to the whole thing, and then while, while I'm doing that, I will think about what we're doing for the next one. So if you missed the start of the stream, now's a good chance to catch up. Catch up on what we're off, what we're up to. There's nothing on that track, yeah. Uh, and you can see these 45 tracks. It's 45 tracks. Yeah, it is 45. Oh yeah, because I got rid of 46. 45 tracks in all their glory, working away. So this is track one, and this is the main theme. And I'll mute my microphone while I think about holes.
into a prog rock, prog rock phase at the moment. I'm okay with it. There's a big um, Mike Oldfield influence on this one, uh, I think just from the way the tracks are being put together and the melodies. And this is track two, this is the Hunted theme. sounding very very good very tasty uh, and this is the the third track this is the one we've been working on Very proud of this. this is, I'm, I'm very, very happy with how this is sounding. that down just a little bit. So it's slightly less kind of at the front of the mix. It's nice. That sounds quite like a almost like a pipe organ. Oh, that's 
still like three minutes. Amazing. That's really nice. That that hits really nicely. Sounding really good. All three of those are sounding very, 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 very good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna check the guitar volume. That's it. Oh, it's sounding very good. Very, very good tracks. I'm very happy with them. I'm just gonna make one more now. What? Hour and three quarters in. One more to go. Get to have all the fun of doing exports tomorrow because I need to. I need to do. I need to export them in, in MP3. I need to export them in FLAC. And then I need to do need to get I need to have artwork for it. Uh, I normally just get something from the Smithsonian um, public domain archive and just slap that on as the artwork, and then um, uh, and then pick a title and get all that in. So that'll be tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow morning for me, I think. And then getting this getting this all mixed and sent off. But yeah, we got one more to do. So the one more we have to do is uh, it's the sort of the sort of genocide run theme, you know, the evil theme. Uh, I'm going to call it destruction theme. This is for when the player becomes the, the, the sort of force of darkness rather than the... the um, uh, rather than in the hunted theme where, like, the bad guys are chasing you. Uh, I hope you have a spare two terabyte hard drive lying around. They honestly don't take up that much space because they're quite short tracks. So it's not too much of a problem. If I was exporting like the tower in FLAC, then yes, we'd have a problem. Um, but, you know, because uh, I normally export stuff in like lossless before it gets mastered. Oh, right. Bye then. Um, so, yeah, it's not it's not too much of a of an imposition, but uh, yeah, it's they, they go on a separate drive afterwards and they, and they sort of stay there. Uh, right. What am I doing? I need to put. I need to put a tempo marker because this is going to be back at 100 BPM because the thing I want to use for this is this these this very fun pian piano part I have here for um, for for this bit for the this, the second theme.
I think that's a good start to a track. Wait to make sure it actually syncs up with itself, but we can do that. That's not a problem, that's easy. Just because I really like it in this track. And I really want the hunter and hunted theme to kind of mirror each other. So that's what this one's called. I don't know why I called it destruction theme. That's that's the wrong name. I'm going to call it the hunter theme. Um, so it's, this is one of the things I love about the OST comp jam is that it's kind of, I think even if you um, don't, I think even if you don't have an interest in video game music or composing for video games, I still think it's an interesting challenge to take um, because you are having to think more about music in, in a narrative sort of way, which I think is always interesting. Um, like I'm kind of, used to doing it because because it, it's it's kind of part of my main my main job but i think for something like this when you're you're making something speculatively for something that will never really exist other than in your own head uh it's an interesting challenge to to try and think about music that way so i highly recommend doing the osd comp jam um there are other music jams for 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 video game music um, there's one that's also in July that I'm not doing because I'm doing this where you have to make an RPG soundtrack but they give you very specific criteria you need like an in theme you need a shop theme you need an overworld theme like they give you the proper list of music that you need to make an RPG uh, which is very fun if, if, I, hope, I hope they do another one late, at some point in the future because it's a very fun idea um, so uh, and that has to be chip tune or samples that you're not allowed to do something like this. It has to be video game samples or chip tune or trackers and stuff. Um, but yeah, okay. So this is what the start of this track's gonna. Let's actually let's fix fix the bass parts first. Just move them over slightly. So I'm going to pop that up here. Cuz this this is this is like you know proper I am the bad guy. Not in the Billie Eilish way, it's sort of in a video game. Way. Uh what was the other thing I need to put on there? So you've also got the melody on the top. You won't be able to hear it very well because it's clashing with the other parts, but it is there. Slightly too heavy. version of the theme which is always fun oh it's so bassy 
You know, the... <laughs> you know... That bit. <laughs> so noisy okay moog that's the moog making the noise out of instead. Actually, I was making a joke about this earlier, but what happens if we... Nope, 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 still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Still absent that. Still does not work. Todd just fades in. <laughs> Somebody did, I, I did, when I was listening to, I was listening back to the main theme, specifically this bit. I was just like, I've just made Doctor Who redacted again. Like, th these two tracks in particular. I have just made, like, that's remarkably similar to one of the one of the the themes in Doctor Who redacted <laughs> oh well I won't tell anyone if you don't okay uh, where are we going All right, let's so octave lower
sounded good. <laughs> Will it work now if we put the trans guitar in? Oh, it does as well. Listen to that. Straight in with the drama here with the Mellotron. Villainy intensifies. Oh, listen to that! It sounds really good. I have an idea for a thing we can do to make this just hit a bit harder. Where have they gone? Um. Okay. Which one's which? Which is the one with the extra oomph? There's a, there's a proper name for it, but I'm calling it the extra oomph. I think it's that one's got the extra boomer on it. Okay. Hitting this, these keys really hard, by the way. Keys are being hit very, very, very Something like that, okay. <laughs> you know what I meant. Okay. Whoa, why are you doing this? not come out sounding good at all. Okay, uh, let's try with the other, because it might just genuinely be... Genuinely might just be the, the delay.
Uh, we just need to quickly fix that. Let's get rid of that double snare. Don't need it. We just need the one today, thanks. Just the one snare will do absolutely fine. I'm actually going to change this snare a little bit as well. So this is a... That's a normal snare. That's a blam. And that's a big hit. That's also a rim shot. So it hits just a little bit harder. Oh no. On the beach, please. Oh, I need to get rid of the extra ones here. Intro. Oh. That sounds so... Honestly, man, putting anything through distortion, you always get interesting results. Minus eight. drums. I don't know if it's maybe too much. Or if it sounds too similar. I think it maybe sounds too similar to the other one. I'll bring that back later if we need to. Actually, you know what? We'll do the responsible thing and we'll keep them muted. There we go. Uh, I need my guitar. Where are we going? Uh, where have you gone? Right, I've got an idea for a guitar part. I just need to put it in. Uh, input number two. <laughs> God, I sound like the worst.
I'm going to turn the effect off just while I record, just so I can get it, you know, in time. Let's run that through the effects and see what it sounds like. We can bring in the drums. Plus twelve, really? Oh, 
Okay, so what? Oh, it's really bassy. Okay. So these need to be plus 24. The, the piano is a little bit loud. Uh, I will, that, that, that will be mixed properly, I suspect. Okay, let's get rid of these. Yeah, that'll be why. Uh, okay. Oh, why is it going up? Oh, that'll be why. Oh. together just adding in
try that. That feels, that feels better. Very strange is going on here. There it is. Yeah, okay, sorry, it was sorry about that, that was doing a very strange thing. This is also the mi I'm aware the mix is just a mess right now just because it's very bassy. That will get fixed. Okay, change of plan. Um, we're gonna put some toms in before we bring the whole drum kit in. So the way we're gonna work this is first of all, we're gonna have that all the way out. So this is once again doing something very weird. I don't understand. And then... that snare there on the on the other drum machine but this one's gonna have uh, 
Snare drums. Okay, so let's get these tom drums recorded. from this is the drum machine which it mostly works it's just the the just the way the toms are set out this is a bit different there it is okay Sorry, a little bit there. And Ty Set, thank you for following. That's very, very kind of you. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying the music. As bass blasty as it is at the moment. Sounds very, very good. Um, 
So here's what I'm thinking. We have the piano again. Very quiet right now, but hopefully that will... Use the loud piano. Uh, it is now so dark, I can't see the pedal. There it is. Okay. I need to remember. Uh... Um. Epic sounding good. Thank you very much. It's um, uh, it's sounding very very good. Like, well, I'll be finishing up this track soon. And then we can listen to the whole thing as, as, a, as a collective piece. Uh, um, I'm glad it's come together so well. I think it's sounding very, very good. I'm very happy with how this has turned out. Um, where are we? goes to a B. And then a B flat minor. Okay. Get what I'm, what I'm getting at. Track on for a second. Okay. Why is that still on? <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let the tape roll. And then just record it without the big, without the pressure, getting it right. Try that again with the right chord. Okay. Let's fix that, first of all. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, silly goose.
Uh, and then that. That's it. Okay. So basic. I keep forgetting how basic it is. Uh, do I have a lock button? No, I do not actually have one. Oh, it's this one. I need to remember what buttons I have. Okay. Oh, get rid of the get rid of the trans trans guitar. I think I might keep the bass notes in as well. Just so it all ties together a bit better. Yeah, that's nice. That's quite dramatic. Take out the bottom. I also need to do something very annoying for this. I need to record the sustain pedal, which is going to be very difficult to do. Sometimes it doesn't keep track of it, so I have to do it manually. <laughs>
Ooh, where do we go from there? I still think that's got more to say, to be honest. But I don't, I don't think we should go straight back into it. Maybe that's the repeat, maybe that's the next thing. Something kind of sad about that, and in a way it's kind of... Calm down. Yeah, no, I like that. That think I think that's it. I think that's the track. Two and a half minutes. I'm alright with that. Okay, need to maybe have a bit more of an intro to it. Uh, unsolicited ripple edit there. Okay. There we go. That's all the intro we need. A little bit of a fade just so the cut's a bit more hidden. Make, the make that guitar a little... Oh, that sounds so good! Ooh, screaming synth! Gonna take the really low Moog out. And also 
also there's a little tiny note there ruining everything! Okay. Little notes ruining my intros. I think I've changed my mind. I think we do actually need the big boy bass. Ooh, that sub! I'll just turn it down. Just so the walls stop rattling a little bit. <laughs> is still struggling against the limiter, you can kind of hear it. The bass is just pushing everything out. I don't hate it though, it actually sounds pretty, like, big. Yeah, okay, I'll need to record this manually. Um. There we go. So that that's going to be our... Except not there at the actual end of the track. Mm. 
nice. I think I might make that just a little bit shorter. Yeah, and that's it. I think that's us. I think we might have a soundtrack. I think that might be the whole thing. Okay, uh, let me just quickly turn this into a Hunter theme 100 BPM. Let's get this labeled correctly. And I think we're finished. I think we're done. Um, yeah, amazing. Okay. Right. Okay, now the moment of truth. Now we have to listen to the whole thing together as one piece and also together as an audience and do like, I'll probably go back and make some more tweaks later, but just to kind of see if it all functions together as an album. So let's give it a listen. Let's, let's have a listen. So track one, this is the main theme and I'll put the, I'll put the picture up so we can get, an, get a sense of what we're trying to evoke. very weird to be doing this kind of music because this is the kind of music that I started making this kind of guitar based stuff so it's weird to be back it's nice to be back but it's also a bit weird okay track two
Nice. Track two, now we're on to track three. Sort of peaceful theme. forgot about the frozen strings, that sounds so nice. That's really lovely. Counterpoint! I accidentally did counterpoint again! Because <laughs> the piano the piano is playing the original melody that you get in the main theme. Whereas the actual lead parts are playing a variation of it. So you get a lovely little counterpoint when they're both playing. Oh, I love it when that happens. I always do counterpoint accidentally. I never do it on purpose. <laughs> Always happens by accident. Happy little accident. Ooh, good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm going to make that outro a bit shorter just because it doesn't need to be that long. No problem, Mysterious. Thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, we're more or less... I'm just going to listen to this last thing again and then I think I'm going to wrap up. But thank you so much for being here. It's good to see you. I hope work is fine. <laughs> Oh. That screaming distortion, I love it.
सकते Amazing. Okay, that's great. I am incredibly happy with that. There's a couple of things I can I need to tweak, but I can do that in the morning. You don't need to be here for that. It's going to be very boring. Um, and then it's just a case of doing the mixes and sending them off. So, yeah, I'm going to call it there. That's 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 fantastic. That sounds absolutely great. Thank you. Thank you. That sounds. I I'm very proud of that. That's that's excellent. That's that's some fantastic work. Um. So thank you, thank you so much for coming along. So this this will be uh, available to download. It'll be up on SoundCloud uh, probably probably tomorrow actually, probably tomorrow or Friday, um, and then there'll be a week of reviewing it, reviewing all the other entries for uh, OST Comp Jam, and then um, and then they'll announce the winners. So yeah, so I will keep you keep you updated on all that. But but in the meantime, thank you so much for for uh, being here. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, yeah, thank thank you so much. Thank you, Squeenie Tall. Thank you so much for for sticking it out for over the over for Monday and 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 Wednesday. I hope it was good. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was uh, interesting to listen to. But we'll be back on Monday. Uh, I don't know what we'll be doing. Uh, it might be more lo-fi, be just more chill than this. Uh, it'll be some uh, probably some more lo-fi music making just for the sake of making some lo-fi music. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Um, yeah, uh, thank you so much for coming along. My name is Dev, and uh, we will see you later. Thank you. Good night.